guys, Berlin in two days is just not possible. I mean, I've been thinking about it for a long time and it's just really too many things that you can do over there. Brandenburg Gate, the Victory Tower, the Reichstag, the Cathedral, the Jewish Memorial, the Berlin Wall, Checkpoint Charlie, the Overbound Bridge, the Television Tower, a lot of museums. I mean, it's just too much for two days. So here's what we'll do. I give you the best options for the two day trip, depending of course on what you guys like. And then I'll put the other options as a plus. If you have the time, if you have more days, then I'll give you more options. Otherwise, try your best, forget the rest. Here is Berlin in two days. Gonna face some music before I lose it. And I gotta do this while I'm alive. Gonna face some music. It's time to prove it. I'm making history while I'm alive. Cause now's my time. There are two main things that you see in Berlin. One is the area of the Brandenburg Gate. This impressive structure is dated back to the 18th century and is a symbol of unity and peace in Germany. We've been to Berlin already three times, two of them to watch people go run the marathon. And this is one of the finishing areas of the marathon itself, so it's very symbolic for the Berlin Marathon end. This is the top landmark of Berlin, so you cannot miss visiting this place. Now from the Brandenburg Gate, then you can go in two different directions to other two important attractions. The first one is going to the Jewish Memorial. This is a very emotional and powerful memorial dedicated to the six million Jews that were murdered during the Second World War. And walking around these concrete blocks, you will notice how much of an emotion you get from being there. It is a very powerful symbol to remember a very terrible thing, but it represents something that is important not to be ever forgotten. The other place close to the Brandenburg Gate that you can see is the Reichstag, which is the German parliament building. And even you can enter this building to go to the top of this glass dome that has a 360 panoramic view of the whole city of Berlin. However, you need to book this ticket online prior to your visit. Usually there's no tickets left when you're visiting on the same day. Inside this building, of course, there's a lot of history in regards to the World War II and also the Cold War. Now, after visiting these places, there are a couple of options that you have here. One is going to the Berlin Cathedral. This is a very nice and big cathedral, very interesting to see. And you can also pay an entrance to go to the top of the cathedral and have a nice view of the city. Now, since you're already at the Berlin Cathedral, then it means you're already in the area of the Museum Island. Over here, you will find five of the most important museums in Berlin, from ancient artifacts to modern art. Or you can just walk around this place, as it is also a very nice area to see. Also close to the Museum Island, you will see not far away the famous Berlin Television Tower. Us personally, we have not yet been to the top of this tower. I know there's a nice restaurant over there, but the entrance to this place is a little bit expensive. We tried to go back on one of the Berlin Marathons, but of course, during the Berlin Marathon, there's a lot of people visiting this place, so it was not possible at the time. I know it's a popular place, and yeah, if you have the time and the money, then... So for the second day in Berlin, I think the best option is first to go to the Berlin Wall in the East Side Gallery. Staring down a dark road, too late to be turning back around. Of course, the Berlin Wall is a massive symbol of the city, not only in Germany, but in the whole world, and represented this division that existed between the eastern side of Germany from the western side. So to actually go and experience this east side gallery of what used to be the Berlin Wall itself 
it's also a very emotional thing and it's a very real thing that you experience over it. It won't all be easy. So when you feel like you've got nothing left. From this area of the Berlin Wall in the East Side Gallery, you can reach the Oberbaum Bridge. Which in my opinion is the most beautiful bridge you will see in Berlin. After taking some nice pictures from the bridge, then the next spot that you should visit is the Checkpoint Charlie. This was the main crossing point between the east side of Germany and the west side during the Cold War. And you will find written in the walls over there the historical events and pictures of what happened over there during these times. After you visit to Checkpoint Charlie, then you have some additional options that you can take. One that I can recommend is going to the Victory Column. The area of the Victory Column, even though we've been there a couple of times, we never really went inside of it. Over there in the bottom, there's a very nice museum. And then going to the top of the column, you get a very nice view of the city of Berlin. A view that you really don't see anywhere else. Here are some additional options for those of you who have more time. One extra recommendation that I can give you is to take a cruise along the Spree River. We did this during our second visit, which I found was a very nice thing to do. Anything that's telling you to quit, do everything you can do. Even if it feels like you might miss. Also, there are these hop on, hop off buses that you can take quick tours around the city, which I think also is a good option to do. Also, you can move around the city with the metro or the bus, which are also very good options there in Berlin. And for those of you who have a little bit more time, you can also visit the city of Potsdam. You can make it, don't lose which is something that we did during our first visit, and I found it to be a very nice and interesting place to go to. Not only of what you can see, but also of the history of things that happened over there, also in regards to the Second World War. Also, if you guys are interested in seeing more places from Germany, be sure to check out my channel as I have a lot of videos from this beautiful country. Oh, keep going. So there you have it, there's a lot of things to do in Berlin. And as I explained to you, two days probably won't cover everything. I don't even feel that I've seen enough of Berlin and I've been over there over three times already. But yes, I know some of you are having short trips because you want to visit several other cities across Europe. So of course the itinerary is a bit tight, but at least with the information I just gave you, you can at least plan a little bit of what are the things that are the most things to see over there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos around Europe. See you guys until next time. Good idea.